Hey, how's it going? So, since I've been doing a lot of things with barrels, uh, I've got a lot of old offcuts of barrel stave. So I'm going to use them now uh, to get some bottle openers. Uh, wall mounted and uh, with a little magnet in them uh, just to catch the uh, bottle caps. So, right, I'm going to get on with that. Okay. Okay, so here's my two offcuts. Two different sizes, I know, but they'll both work. And uh, I'll pick these bad boys up off the internet. So I'll be using them as the openers. And a stack of neodymium magnets, rare earth magnets. And they'll be going in the bottom of these to catch any bottle caps. Okay, so let's crack on. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some big old 80 grit, just to really get them cleared off. So the next stage is going to make holes top and bottom using a drill, pilot, another one to counter sink, and then we've got forts and a bit to create the hole for the magnet. So let's get on with it. smell of whiskey when you do this is absolutely insane. Okay. I think we've gone deep enough there. You can sort of eyeball it. I'm pretty happy. There. Yeah, there, yeah. Let's do the same with this one. I've already marked. Well, yeah, it's all you want, isn't it? See you later. We'll go back work. Again, let's have a look. See how deep we all can go a bit further there, I think. Not much. But definitely a bit. Yeah, as I said, this whiskey smell is insane. Ooh. Considering I don't drink anymore, I don't know whether it's a good or a bad thing. Yeah. All of this. 
because of the lovely whiskey smell. It's probably going to be used in a friend's smoker at some point, so that will not go to waste. I would usually have used this bad boy, but I thought for just a couple of little bits, it was a bit overkill. So, and just to show that you can use normal power tools to do everything. So on to the next bit. Right, so let's measure up. We've got almost three inches there. So one and a half is the middle at the bottom. So I'll do a little spot there, put the hole through. And four and a half, that's the middle there. Now, do that there, just to put the hole in. There we go. One. sinking as well boom and done okay so next starting from the top we'll put this in let me just that's bang on we'll put two little Pilots in just to start things off. There's the other one. Can't see it in the light. There we are. And we will attach. There's a lovely rustic brass screws which came with the kit. Better get a bigger <clears throat> that ain't going nowhere there. Okay, let's get the other one lined up and done as well. Now we'll look at putting the the magnet sim. So what I'm going to do is use hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. Right. Okay. So now let's get these in. And all the way around the edge. Let's drop a nice bead of glue in. So that ain't going anywhere. Yep. 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 Now to the bit everyone likes. Now that's drying nicely in there bring these back over I'm gonna do one with clear one with dark oak why not I'll 
how gorgeous does that look? Yeah, time to. Molding. whole lot front and back treated so that's one done let that soak now now this one do the dark oak it's only a subtle difference in my opinion I do think it looks good Gorgeous. And we'll just slap a bit on the back as well just to make sure we're all protected from elements. So you can see the slight difference in the colouring. So that's the dark oak stain. And that's the normal clear. And all it is is a wax, that's all. I'm not going crazy on it because to be honest, they're beautiful anyway, in my opinion. So let's get them to work and just uh, make sure they do what they're supposed to do.